All right, how's it going? Got another video with a bunch of fidgets today. Um, there's all kinds of stuff on this table, but essentially um, this is uh, some stuff from Mel and um, Kyle uh, over at Fidget Focused, and those links for, for their channels are in my descriptions. But uh, yeah, we passed stuff along, so there's a bunch of stuff they passed along. I wanted to check everything out before I sent it back, but I had bought a, got a bunch of grails over the weekend, so I just really hadn't had a chance to really take a look at these in any really great detail. So um, now that I've played with them a little bit, I could talk a little bit about them. Um, it's more of like a first impressions overview. I wouldn't call it like a detailed review, but I kind of understand these pieces at this point. You know, they're not that complicated. Uh, so first, we'll talk about the, and I'll try to make this video not crazy long, um, but there are a bunch of things on here. Uh, this is the plastic epoxy pill bug, I believe. Uh, I know it's the pill bug, and I just don't remember if this is like um, the epoxy one that was uh, EDC Long was selling or where this actually came from. But yeah, this is the uh, plastic pill bug, we'll just call it this thing actually is pretty sick, <laughs> to be honest with you. Like, I didn't think this would be cool at all. But it ended up being pretty cool. Look at that. Like the, yeah, the material, it's like super light and it's not like, doesn't have a lot of weight to it. But I still found myself actually playing with this when Mel first sent this to me. So um, if, if you could get this, you know, on the cheap, I would recommend it. Um, but there is the, um, the metal one. And this one's from Big Way EDC. This is the Pillbug Junior um, or Youth Edition. And, you know, essentially the same thing, uh, a lot better balanced. Um, this one actually has decent balance. It's not very wobbly as compared to this one, which is giga unbalanced. Look at this thing jumps all over my finger, um, but still fun. Now back to this one. Um, yeah, from my understanding from people who own the, who've owned like the Zerk expensive pill bug, um, they say that it's basically 90% the same experience as the Zerk one, so not a ton of reason to go and buy a $600 one because that's what these cost in, in Zirconium. Um, you know, you can get this little one for, I think it's like, I don't know, 100 bucks or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite things to do with it, by the way. I like to... Well, let me see if I can get it. It's kind of hard on camera. You get the idea. So it's like flip, flip, a flip, and you just keep opening it over and over and over again. And then the other thing I like to do is see how you drag your finger along. Look. And then it closes. That's pretty sick. And if you flip it around, you can do it the other way because then the fins are facing the other direction. So now that I flipped it that way, then I can drag my finger like that and close it. So pill bugs are pretty cool. Um, you know, one day I'd love to have the real deal, but you know that's just so much money i couldn't really imagine spending it on that uh okay next um this is i think called the gal rice ball um this thing is just like a simple two click type of slider thing with some buttons on the top there's not a lot to it um it does have like a little bit of reverberation on it which i'm not sure if that's because a magnet's in wrong that's actually my guess is that a magnet's in wrong but it actually makes it better than i think it would be if not, so it could be on purpose. I don't know, but listen to the little reverberation sound You hear that little Pink at the end there. That's like this thing vibrating when you when you take it back and forth So uh, this could be a cool little pocket piece. I do see a lanny spot on it But I don't actually know how that would work because I'm looking here if I had a lanyard on it I just feel like it would get it would get jammed up in here. So didn't bother to put a lanny on it. Uh, it's not mine anyway, so going to be sending it back. Okay, next we have the M the M1 in Zerk. Um, this piece isn't doing a lot for me, honestly. Um, all I really have seen, and maybe I'm just missing something, but all I see that this thing does is this, right? Not very interesting, and then this. I mean, that's, that's it. I, I can't find anything else that, does this come up or something? Like, no, that doesn't come up. I mean, this could be like a cool keychain fidget or something like that. Like if you want to throw this on your key ring, I guess, but it's in Zerk, so I imagine it's not cheap. I don't know. I just, uh, this one's not doing it for me. I don't really see a lot. I mean, that, I guess, it's 
cool. I don't know. Not not a big fan, to be honest, um, of that piece. And then we've got this uh, Gao. I think it's called the Mott Capsule. Uh, this thing is interesting. It's pretty chunky. Um, I have big hands, so it probably doesn't look that that big. But I've Mel, Mel saw it in my hands, and she was like, oh, my God, your hands are huge. That thing is looks small in your hand, <laughs> which I, I hear a lot. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so it is probably a little bigger. I wear like an XL glove, sometimes two XL. So, um, I mean, I'm not like, I, people think I got these massive hands. Yeah, they're like, like larger than normal, but maybe you guys need to like meet an NBA player or something like that. Like my hands, if I put my hand up to like Kawhi Leonard or something like that, my hands would look tiny. Um, but I guess people aren't meeting the NBA size players every day. Anyway, getting off track. So, uh, the capsule. So, yeah, it's got these little magnets in here, right? So, you've got magnets, and you got some magnets, and it does a little twisty, twisty jam, which is cool. Got a button. I like the button, it makes a little cool noise. Love the button, definitely makes a cool noise. Then you kind of got this uh, little ratchet, and then I also believe it's a spinner, too. So, if you yeah, look at that. You spin it, and then the magnets keep it from, you know, uh, from dropping down, which is cool. Um, I think that this thing is pretty cool. I don't have any, um, I don't really have anything negative to say about it. I don't know what the prices are on a lot of this stuff, but um, this is a decent little fidget, you know. Um, maybe next time I'll try to get the prices for stuff because I think depending on the price point would really influence my decision if if this was worth it or cool or not. So. Um, definitely will uh, keep that in mind for the next one and then you got the black dogs labs slider um, this thing is super grippy uh, and very chonker um, there seems to be some stick to it though I don't know if that's from I mean this is how I got it the plates look smooth however like when I try to like right there it's really sticky hmm maybe it's, it's loosened up now Okay, weird. Um, but yeah, this thing is a pretty chonker slider, uh, to be honest. I do like how the magnets are covered, which is cool. And I believe this thing is made out of brass, so it's very chunky. Um, this is a cool slider. Um, I think that the it's it, what it does better than some other sliders is the grip texture. This grip texture is amazing, and you kind of need it because it's so damn heavy but this grip texture is really good um the weight if you like weight i usually like weight um this would be good for you um outside of that it's it's very similar to um other sliders out in the market so um i would say if you're somebody who maybe has small hands or like can't handle very much weight this is probably not for you but if you're a big thick boy like i am um, this would probably be a cool slider for you. So, yeah, this thing is cool. I definitely enjoy it once I got that stick situation sorted out. I don't know what that was all about. That was probably more the former people who had this versus the uh, maker. So, no hate on the maker for that little bit of stick there. Uh, okay, uh, next we got the Sam Spinner. Uh, I always love this Laudi logo. It's so sick. Um... So it's in copper, stainless. Um, I, I love the look of this thing. The balls are cool and all that, but it doesn't really do it for me, to be honest. I mean, I'm spinning stuff like, you know, not to be bougie or whatever, but I'm spinning like stuff like that, which is a billum with a custom superconductor button on it. So, I mean, when it comes to spinners, yes, I am bougie. I feel like I have the best of the best in all tungsten in my collection so i don't really collect you know stuff that's like this like you know more basic uh you know more basic spinners not a lot of feedback or sound or anything like that but you know for entry level people i think it's also a ring spinner too let me see if i can pop this bad boy out i've seen people pop this thing out let me see if i can do it there we go so I think I can look how fat my fingers are. <laughs> my freaking sausage fingers. Uh, I guess it could be a pinky spinner for me because uh, there's no way in hell I could get this on any of my fingers. This makes me laugh. I bet some of you guys probably can drop this thing down all the way to like a on your freaking ring finger. But 
yeah, it's cool. Um, it's just not my style in particular. I don't, I'm not a big ring spinner guy. Um, I definitely like it for the look, though. So this could be something that, you know, if you're into ring spinners or something like that, you might be able to enjoy. I just like the feedback and the heavy stuff. And when it comes to spinners, like I said, I'm kind of a bougie bitch. Uh, and then the game cartridge. Um, this is this was one of the pieces when I first got in the fidgets I saw. And I was like, oh, I need to have one. I need to have one. Never bought one. I'm glad I didn't because this thing is wicked expensive. I think this thing's like 300 bucks, which I definitely wouldn't recommend for 300 bucks. But, um, you know, <laughs> for free. <laughs> or you know for borrowing um it's cool it's got the ratchet thing up top so you got the ratchets here you got the uh the slider portion of it here which kind of sticks out or whatever jumps up and down which is cool and then you've got the got this little thing i don't really know what you would call this but when i got this this thing was super gummed up threw a bit of this knife pivot lube oil in there which i usually use for my knives um, and it freaking loosened it right up. So this thing is actually working really well again. So I know Kyle wanted to try to fix it, but I already fixed it, Bianch. Um, so yeah, this thing is decent. Actually, I don't know. It's one of those weird things where like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And I kind of find myself picking it up sometimes. So yeah, I would say if you can find it for a good deal, then probably pick one up. Maybe in stainless instead of Zerk. Like... This thing for 300 bucks in Zerk is kind of nuts to me. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all the stuff that I got to send back to the homies aside from this. And I actually am hanging on to this for now. <laughs> um, but the rest of this is going back out to the homies. So uh, get, that, get those in the mail and uh, on to the next item. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good one. Peace.